Arrange the following molecules in the order of increasing stability. The stability of the species here is related with bond order. So we can calculate bond order using bonding electrons subtracted by anti-bonding electrons divided by two. The higher the bonding orbital, or the higher the bonding order, the stronger the bond. And then the more stable the species, either molecule or ion. So first, let's work on N2 plus this ion first. We know each nitrogen atom has uh, five electrons, valence electrons. And then N2, that should give us 10. Lose one, becoming N2 plus, then that should be still nine left. And those are the nine uh, electrons occupying, you know, different uh, energy levels. So now we are ready to calculate the bond order once you have this uh, diagram. Okay, the bonding electrons, two plus four, six plus one, seven. Anti-bonding, you see, anti-bonding here, two. So therefore, seven minus two equals five, divided by two, 2.5. Now look at nitrogen molecule. Okay, so it should have 10 electrons. It does not lose one like in here. So 10 electrons, valence electrons. Among the 10, eight of them, that's two, six, eight. Eight of them are bonding electrons. And two of them, only two of them, this is the anti-bonding orbital. So only two electrons in there. Eight minus two, six, divided by two, three. N2 minus means it should have one more electron than N2, than the neutral molecule. Is that right? Okay. One more electron started occupying this anti-bonding uh, two pi orbitals, uh, pi two p orbitals. Okay, so anti-bonding orbital. So the number of bonding electrons still stay the same, eight, just like in nitrogen molecule. But the anti-bonding electrons we have two plus one three. So therefore, the bond order is two point five. You see, 2.5, 2.5, these two actually have the same bond order. Now, nitrogen molecule gain two electrons becomes N2, 2 minus. Okay, then, of course, now there are two electrons occupying uh, the pi 2p star and the bonding orbital. The total number of bonding electrons still eight, but the anti bonding electrons. 2 plus 2, 4. 8 minus 4 equals 4 divided by 2, that's 2. Okay, now you see, from left to right, the bond order increases, uh, except, you know, the 2 in the middle, they have the same bond order. Okay, so therefore, the most stable molecule uh, or species, so should be N2, the one with the highest bond order. The higher the bond order, the more stable the species. Okay, and then these two, N2 minus and N2 plus, they should be the same. The stability should be the same. So therefore, if we look at the choice, we know A and B is out, all right? And now we also see, we know N2 is the most stable one because of the bond order of three. Obviously, C should be the correct answer for this question.